Hello dear students, in this lecture we are going to discuss phytochemical test for sterol and tri triterpene conducted in ethnobotany classes. So first of all let us revise what are phytochemicals and uh, this we have discussed in several lectures before but let us discuss once again. So, plant secondary metabolites or phytochemicals, they play many roles in including defense mechanism against pests and pathogens, wounds and responses to different environmental stresses. They also show antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial and anti-diabetic properties. Now, phytochemicals are secondary metabolites and they can be extracted from different plant parts like leaves, flowers, bark, seeds, etc. Why uh, we need to uh, have knowledge of these phytochemicals? Because uh, that they are desirable uh, because the information is used for the synthesis of modern drugs, medicines and cosmetic products. And what are the kinds of phytochemicals present in the plant? They include various groups which includes alkaloids, steroids, triterpenes, terpenoids, tannins, glycosides, phenols and flavonoids, saponin etc. So we have already discussed uh, the other uh, phytochemicals like alkaloids, tannins, saponins and flavonoid in previous lecture. Let us discuss sterol and triterpenes in this lecture. So first, first of all discuss what are sterols. Sterols are a type of lipid that play important roles in the structure and function of cell membranes in both plants and animals. In plants the primary sterol is called phytosterol. Sterols contribute to the fluidity and stability of cell membranes and they are also precursors for the synthesis of various hormones. Sterols play a vital role in cell signaling and it, this means that they have a role in signal transduction in both plants and animals. The fifth point is sterols occur in the membranes of plants, animals and microorganisms and when they uh, in plants they are called phytosterols. In animals, they are called sterol, zoosterols, and in microorganisms, they are called mycosterols, respectively. Now, cholesterol is the more main uh, sterol which is present in animals, and this is called zoosterol. But sterol in plants, animals occur as mixtures with beta cytosterol, camposterol, and stigma sterol, representing three of major phytosterols. So uh, this information I have collected from uh, internet and you can also refer different web sources or different books for sterols. Now what are triterpenes? Triterpenes are a class of terpenes which is composed of six isoprene units and animals and plants, fungi all produce triterpenes which includes squalene, the precursor of all steroids. The triterpenes are one of the most numerous and diverse groups of plant natural products. They are complex molecules that are far most beyond the reach of chemical synthesis. Simple triterpenes are components of surface waxes and specialized membranes and may potentially act as signaling molecule whereas complex glycosided triterpenes which are saponins they provide protection against pathogens and pests. So this was all about sterols and triterpenes and let us discuss how to conduct this practical. So for the uh, extraction of sterols and triterpenes what are the requirements? The requirements uh, are the plant material. We, we require fresh leaves of this plants. 
we can also extract uh, from dry leaves but in this um, protocol we are extracting plant uh, these phytochemicals from fresh leaves the chemicals which are required for this practical are chloroform and concentrated h2o support the required glassware are conical funnel beakers test tubes measuring cylinder pipettes muslin cloth and there are miscellaneous requirements like pestle and mortar cotton filter paper water bath spirit lamp test tube holder now first the, the first step is extraction so the extraction includes uh, crushing of leaves uh, with water in the ratio of 1 is to 5 which we have already done in previous practicals and using crushed leaves and grind using pestle and mortar to make a fine slurry or paste and filter this paste using mustard cloth take the filterate for phytochemical test now in phytochemical test both the test for sterols and triterpenes uh, uh, we will be performing Salkowski's test for both sterols and triterpenes for test uh, of sterols evaporate 2 ml of, a, of the extract uh, which uh, you have extracted in the first step to dryness uh, and how do you um, evaporate 2 ml of extract to dryness just take the filtrate in test tube and evaporate on a spirit lamp so whatever water is present in the filtrate it will be evaporated and you just uh, do the practical with the residue which is left so evaporate 2 ml of the extract to dryness and dissolve the residue in 2 ml of chloroform now to this 2 ml of chloroform and residue you add 2 ml of concentrated H2SO4 from sides of the test tube shake and allow to stand for few minutes if red color develops in chloroform layer it indicates the presence of sterols so uh, the red color in, in chloroform layer is the positive test for sterol and for the test for triterpenes the same test the, the procedure is same but the only difference is that if you get golden yellow color at the bottom it indicates the presence of triterpenes so Salkowski's test for triterpenes also um, the procedure is same uh, for sterol and triterpenes the only difference is that you get red color in uh, for sterols and you get golden yellow color for triterpenes now in this slide you can see the test of sterol performed in different plants and when you see the first test tube this shows the test tube of control you see no color so this is negative in second tube you see uh, the color is black so we will consider negative test in rohio in third tube you see a bright red color and the plant is spider lily that is your crinum asiaticum so we will consider it as positive and you can see an intense red color so this is positive test uh, in fourth tube which is your bryophyllum uh, you see a negative test because this is black and in fifth tube which is your aloe vera you see a red color indication uh, has come so we will consider as positive so in test of sterol we see positive result in the last tube positive result in terms of red color in last plant that is your aloe vera and third plant which is your spider lily so the sterol test in these two plants spider lily and aloe vera this is now, you positive. can see comparison of dis different tests done here with different plants like here you see the first three test tubes are showing positive positive result for triterpenes the entire triterpenes we get a, a golden yellow color in chloroform layer so uh, the first tube which is a bryophyllum uh, you see uh, a light yellow color so we will consider as positive and then in second which is santalam album which is your chandan so you see a yellow color in chloroform layer so this is also positive 
and this is stratus cancius pathosina so you see a uh, yellow color here golden yellow color layer so we will consider uh, this as positive test for triterpenes now these are two plants zadirecta indica which is your neem and eleocarpus uh, which is your rudraksh so you see these two these two are showing positive test for sterol because you see bright red color in the layer of uh, chloroform so uh, these are the two tests which are uh, which these are the two plants which show positive test for sterol and these are the three plants which have shown positive test for triterpene so when you record this in your practical so you uh, can record uh, the practical like this you make a table like this you write the name of the plant on the in the first column and then you can indicate the color or the positive or negative sign is used for the indication of presence or absence of different phytochemicals so i hope you have understood the practicals and let us meet in next lecture thank you students